Hello everyone, my name is Stella Sylvie and today I will tell you a story about the good lion. Once upon a time, there was a lion that lived in Africa with all the other lions. The other lions were all bad lions and every day they ate zebras and wild bees and every kind of antelope. Sometimes, the bad lions ate people too. They ate Swahilis, Umbulus and Wandrobos and they especially like to eat Hindu traders. All Hindu traders are very fat and delicious to a lion. But this lion that we love because he was so good had wings on his back. Because he had wings on his back, the other lions all made fun of him. Look at him with the wings on his back, they would say, and then they would all roar with laughter. Look at what he eats, they would say, because the good lion only ate pasta and scampi because he was so good. The bad lions would roar with laughter and eat another Hindu trader, and their wives would drink his blood, going lap 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 with their tongues like big cats. They only stopped to crawl with laughter or to roar with laughter at the good lion and to snarl at his wings. They were very bad and wicked lions in it. But the good lion would sit and fold his wings back and ask politely if he might have a Negroni or an American dog. And he always drank that instead of the blood of Hindu traders. One day, he refused to eat eight Maasai cattle and only ate some tagliatelle and drank a glass of pomodoro. This made the wicked lions very angry and one of the lionesses who was the weakness of them all and could never get the blood of Hindu traders off her whiskers even when she rubbed her face in the grass said Who are you that you think you are so much better than we are? Where do you come from? You pasta eating lion? What are you doing here anyway? She called at him and they all roared without laughter my father lives in a city where he stands under the clock tower and looks down on a thousand pigeons, all of whom are his subjects. When they fly, they make a noise like a rushing river. There are more palaces in my father's city than in all of Africa, and there are four great bronze horses that face him, and they'll have one foot in the air because they fear him. In my father's city, Men go on foot or in boats and no real horse would enter the city for fear of my father. Your father was a griffin, the wicked lioness said, licking her whiskers. You are a liar, one of the wicked lions said. There is no such city. Pass me a piece of Hindu trader, another very wicked lion said. This Maasai cattle is too newly killed. You are a worthless liar and son of a griever, the weakest of all the lioness said. And now I think I shall kill you and eat you, wings and all. This frightened the good lion very much because he could see her yellow eyes and her tail going up and down and the blood cake on her whiskers and he smelled her breath which was very bad because she never brushed her teeth ever. Also she had old pieces of Hindu trader under her claws. Don't kill me, the good lion said. My father is a noble lion and always has been respected and everything is true as I said. Just then the wicked lioness sprang at him, but he rose into the air on his wings and circled the group of wicked lion swans, with them all roaring and looking at him. He looked down and thought, What savages these lions are! He circled them once more to make them roar more loudly, then he swooped low so he could look at the eyes of the wicked lioness who rose on her hind legs to try and catch him, but she missed him with her claws. Adios, he said, for he spoke beautiful Spanish, being a lion of culture. Oh, where for? He called to them 
in his exemplary French. They are roared and crowed in African lion dialect. Then the good lion circled higher and higher and set his course for Fanny's. He alighted the piazza and everyone was delighted to see him. He flew up for a moment and kissed his father on both cheeks and saw the horses still had their feet on. And the basilica looked more beautiful than a soap bubble. The campanile was in place and the pigeons were going to their nests for the evening. How was Africa? his father said. Very savage father. The good lion replied, We have night lighting here now, his father said. So I see, the good lion answered like a dutiful son. It bothers my eyes a little. Where are you going now, my son? To Harry's bar, the good lion said. Remember me to Spriani and tell him I will be in someday soon. To see you on my pill, said his father. Yes, father, said the good lion, and he flew down lightly and walked to Harry's bar on his own four paws. In Cyprianis, nothing was changing. All of his friends were there, but he was a little changed himself from being in Africa. Negroni, Senior Baron, asked Mr. Cipriani. But the good lion had flown all the way from Africa and Africa had changed him. Do you have any Hindu trader sandwiches? No, but I can get some. While you are sending for them, make me a very dry martini with Garden's gin. Very good, said Cipriani. Very good indeed. Now the lion looked about him at the faces of all the nice people and he knew that he was at home but that he had also traveled. He was very happy. I hope you guys happy just like the good lion and thank you.